All right, guys, welcome back. This is Antagonist Kim. We are playing Dredge. We, to catch anyone up, caught, got this flame of the sky using that big old stone that the uh, the artifact guy identified and figured out. Um, we are gonna find the last flame, and I guess I don't know. See what's gonna happen. Um, we need the last little flame symbol thingy, so I'm not sure where that is at. Dolphins again. Um, I was just trying to see if I had already selected it. I don't think I have is the issue, because I have... I did the one inside of there, so I don't know, I feel like I'm missing where the other one went. Because the one was rotten fish, rotted fish or whatever. The other one... Ooh, oh, it's right there. Um, Is there a sneakier way to go in here that does not include... Ooh, what's this? I think I've caught this one? We need to get in there. Um, that is a secret way. Um... Oh, but then I have to go all the way back to Ingfell. Do I want to do that or just risk it? I think I might just risk it. God, they already saw me. Screw it. It's tight, but let's just get in this. Ooh, but not run into the. <gasps> it's disabled, but not fallen over. That's okay. Oh God. Don't know if I need this or not. Oh, please. Okay, a stone shrine, upright slabs bear two pale bottom dwellers. Freaking perfection. And the other guy. I think I know how to find them. So let's... Ooh. Well, I avoided them for that, but... Don't know if it's necessary for me to do these, but again, I covet them, so why not? Boom. babies are in there. We need... a little, uh... They're in that area, too. We need... not those... Hopefully they're not just during the day. Why do I have a feeling that they are? That's okay. Okay. Um. Wait, is that it right there? What are you? In there. Not those. What are you? Something ridiculous? Oh. How am I gonna escape? Okay. Let's go back over here. We need to fix that light. Can't be running around without the light. Oop, repair. You know what? 
what? Was this the shape of that one in the shark thing? The big, uh... It is kind of shaped like that. Interesting. Um... Oh. Now we're gonna sell it, but... All these things. Okay, let's sleep. Because we need the manatee thingy. To get the flame. And they are in this area. I have seen them. But we must avoid... Don't recall that one. But let's... We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's do... The thing we actually need. Where are they? I know they are in here. Not those. Those are evil. Um, that is also not it. That is debris. What about in here? Those look like normal fish. Quite what I want. Freaking A. Are they on the outer rim? Are they anywhere that isn't in there? I guess we could use that. I need that right there. Or it's right by these freaking dudes, man. Haha. -ha. Okay. Ooh, okay. Not you. That. Oh, it's. No, it, it is gonna be. Wait. What is this? More treasure, obviously. Read the book. Another one, the glowy thingies. It's in there. It's right there. Ooh! Son of a biscuit. Ooh, he's still coming. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. I need to I need to get up in here anyway. I hear it. God. Okay. This. You. Enter. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Um, a bunch of stuff I do not need, but I will take. Including flamey. Okay. Cool. Let's escape from here. Let us return this There it is in the distance Wait Not quite A little further You know for this light to be really cool. I th thought... No. I thought it would be a lot brighter. 
Where is this? There you go. Exactly what I need. Come on, buddy. You got this. Ooh, yeah, no eyeball stuff right now. Not, not today. No, thank you. Okay. Um... I think we already read that. Oh, uh, deface skate. Bones replace cartilage and erupts through soft skin. A frightening new form begins to emerge. Okay. That's what's in our inventory. We need that. So let's... Oh, God. Let's deal with this fanatic. The far right. Yes. Flame. A cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Oh, God. Ooh. Um, in case stuff is crazy. Let's sleep. And let's talk to this dude. Oh, God. Okay. What is it? Um, the flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up to the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Uh, stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Uh... Stand back. You are rooted to the spot. Okay, the wind picks up. Swirling sea sprays across the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Hey, my dude, stop this. His chanting grows louder. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I think he's about to uh, jump on in there. Uh, the, fr uh, the freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts up his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools on the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Let's inspect the pyre. Aha! Okay, you take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hand spinning wildly below the cracked face. Holy crap. We just got the final item. Yep. Oh boy. Um, let us... There's one last thing, and I know y'all are gonna be mad. I think... That ghost... Um... That, uh... See-through shark, bro this one is one of the items we need. We need this guy. Okay. And then we need That's the big dude. We don't want that. back. He's right here? No. Nope. Where was he? Oh, come on, man. say it's this one. Yes, it is. Boom. Okay. Ooh, no! Son of a biscuit. That long one is what I freaking needed. Okay, that's okay. Well. Um, shit. He was back here. 
The big guy. Crap. <sighs> this is annoying. I see you, you freaking cow. I need that last one for this shark thing, you guys. It's gonna kill me. I'm almost certain that that is the one I need, and I think it's this one. Grab it real quick. Yes. I'm willing to risk it. Um, well actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Let's do... Where was it at? Uh, I can't even believe this is happening right now. God, I think it was like all the way over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was between Dale Cliffs and there. I mean, I'm going the right direction. Screw it. Maybe we'll go to Little Morrow first and sell that shite. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Regardless, this is the route we gotta go, so. This side. Come on. Storage. Let's just sell this stuff real quick. My god. Okay. This dude. Uh, you explained to the trader that you found the use for the fused tablet at the ancient lighthouse mm. Devil Spire. It opened the door to the ruined lighthouse. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I hope you find something interesting. Um, let's just sell all the trinkets. I'm not gonna waste my time with... Well... Yeah. Okay. Let's exit out of here. Holy crap. Cross. Fix the boat. Not in my luck, I'll get freaking wrecked. Fix my boat, please. Okay. Um, actually, no. Don't look at me like that. She won't buy them. That's always fun. Storage. I don't need this right now. Uh. Everything else is okay. Do I have any more upgrades to do? That's done. Sure. Okay. Sleep. Let's go. Exactly straight. Perfect. Just perfect. I think it's this right here, right? Or was it the other one? God, I hope this is the one. I don't want to be searching around looking for stuff. Not this one.
It was between here and the other place, right? Not there. This. Yes. Holy crap, let's see if I'm right, you guys. Let's do this. Yes. Haha. -ha. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Jeez. Okay. I try. I don't know. I don't know what that could be. I thought it was the other guy and it didn't work out, so. Honestly, let's just, uh. Let's just drop him. We're gonna go do the main thing now. Okay. Let's go back. With the utmost haste. See how this works out, you guys. This might be a longer episode. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Do one last check. Oh, I'm nervous. Pursuits. Yeah, everything is leading to this, you guys. Holy cow. Um, messages. We read them all. Okay, let's let's do this. You climb the broken steps to the old mansion. The waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Ooh. Um. What happens if I conceal it? Uh? Let's deliver this thing, man. Oh my god. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. It once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this. The sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. <laughs> and with that, our collection is complete, I must admit. I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Yeah, a giant freaking Cthulhu monster. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Um... I mean, everything's... Let's double check. Hmm. Okay. Let's just make sure. The ship, I think, is good. That's all I really care about is that it's fixed, right? Holy cow. I mean, we have the flame of the sky, so that's really our only ally. We, this just makes us fish quicker. I don't know if we need this or not. Shit, let's do it. Let's do it. Tell me more about the book. Which book? This one here? With a worried grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said about this set of histories of the Great Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb? You, Your hypocrisy is worrying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Uh, sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So is she. 
Who? <sighs> you wanted to forget, begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the cracking room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Ooh. You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into this despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we undo everything. Undo what you did. So what did I do? Oh. So what is this now? What do I do? Did I just... I think it's still gonna force me to do this, isn't it? Okay. This is crazy. So I guess I was the guy that lost the wife, and this dude is just in my head. He's freaking Cthulhu monster. Screw it. Whatever. We must make one final voyage. This time I'll be with you. Let's do this. Warning. You're entering the final phase. Oh, God. Let's do it. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you sure? I didn't solve the shark puzzle, but that's okay. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Now, our destination is the great expanse to the west of Great Morrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. His shape disappears from the mirror. A chill rises in your body and you turn. The collector is with you. Ooh. Oh boy, let's go. Ooh. Where are we going? Um. Right? Yeah. Let's freaking do this. I have Jaywall with me. This might be the end of the game right here. What's up? I was just telling him this is the end right here. You ready? Oh. This is the end of the game? What are you doing? Going into the light? Oh, God, yes. Oh. We're about to awaken her. Okay, this is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. Ooh, you open the book. Its pages are frosted with ice, and a chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more, you throw the ring overboard. Oh god. <laughs> no. Open the door to the starry heavens. You slot the key into the lock of the music box and lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Oh my freaking god, you guys. I may be messed up. All those waters make me have to pee. Don't, don't say that. Oh, God. Is that my wife? Just makes me want to play D&D, &D, though. I know. Sure it's it's my wife, but she's probably evil. Wait, that other guy was the... He's a figment of my imagination. Oh, he's not real? Oh, look at him right there. Oh, no. Wait, what the hell is that? That's not a tentacle monster, is it? It is. It's the Cthulhu creature. Oh, God. I may have made a huge mistake. Wait, so that guy that you see on that one island is actually you? Yes. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. 
How is that possible? Because other guys like you're different. Because maybe because you're secluded. I, I guess you're gonna have to watch my final episodes to figure this out. You guys, we made it. Holy cow! Everything's destroyed though. I killed everybody with my choice that I made. Wait, you had a choice? <laughs> um, to finish the game, you have to release this thing. You could have chose. I don't know if you could have chosen not to or not. It made it pretty much like I had to. So. So you just chose to kill everybody because you don't. That's that's what the game said to do. Huh? I, I guess. You yeah, know, huh? You know what? Don't even. Some evil entity tells you to kill people, so you just do it? Is that what you're supposed <laughs> Stop, to do? Stop. Seriously. So. Alright, well, I'll let you do your thing. I'm trying to wrap this up over here. I know. Well, you guys. Well, you should probably skip to see if there's something at the end. Well, I guess you could do your talk and then skip to see if there's something at the end. We'll see. I mean, the only other thing I thought about is... The book was already with me, so maybe I could have thrown it into the ocean. Well, no, it wasn't even in my inventory. That's the only thing that made me decide just to go through with it, because... I had the book. That's why I exited out, because I thought, oh, I had a chance. And I didn't have a chance. The book wasn't there. So was this the only option? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, we kind of worked hard through the whole game to figure this out. To, uh, you know... Release the creature... Or whatever happened. Although I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna have to fight this thing, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was a lot of fun. Slow at times, tedious, yes, but I'm hoping y'all made it through with me, even though the end was crazy. <laughs> Man. I almost want to Google if there was an alternate ending. I'm sure there was. I'm sure I could have went to the lighthouse lady and she would have been like, ah, oh, you're a good person, you didn't have to do this, but I also don't know if other gamers or anyone chose this route. I don't know if anyone else has watched other gameplays of this, but... Man. I will say, though, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last game, but there is, um... The last video, I mean. There is going to be DLC for this. It's some kind of expanded, like, oil rig operation situation. I don't know if me ending the game now really matters to that. I think you'll be able to just, you know, jump in on it and do the DLC. So I may or may not go back to this game in, let's say, a month or so. It says quarter four of 2023, so that could be in the fall sometime. September, October, maybe. Usually games release around then. Man, they're not even gonna expand anywhere else. They're just gonna watch the world burn. But you know what? Here's the thing, though. I don't feel as bad about it because, you know... What, what is it? You know, humans destroy oceans all the time. This is just the fish getting revenge, right? That's always something to think about, right? Yeah, whatever. Ooh, okay. Come on. I, I want to see if there's some kind of, like, other ending to this. I don't know if we can fast forward to this. I don't want to mess with it. Give everyone credit where it's due. If you're still in the video, you can always fast forward to the end if need be, but... I'll sit through and wait for this to finish. Now I'm curious now. I'm going to be kind of mad if there's another thing I could have done, but... Let's look while well, this is finishing. Okay, so there are two endings. There is a bad ending, but if you work things out right, it says there is a good ending. Ooh, this might be it here. Let's see what this finishes off as. Okay, is that it? Okay. Ooh, and there it is. All right. Let me just do one last look through. The bad ending is definitely what we did. There is a good secret ending, though. Oh, so you know what? I want to see what the continue does. So, okay, so you guys, I'm going to do both. This will be a longer video. I, I have a way to do both options, so we're going to do both real quick. Okay, we're going to conceal the relic. Okay, the first one was the bad ending. We're going to see the good ending right here, right now. Conceal the relic. What is it? Um... 
Tell me more about this book of yours. <gasps> We're gonna kind of speed through this, because this is what we've already done. So wait, you're not the collector. You'll see in a second. You want to watch this part so you understand? Jay is still behind me. Um, don't play dumb. You know which book I'm talking about. Your hypocrisy is wearing. I suppose you must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands. Okay. Hmm. Where did you get it? And the dust appears. Well, you remember you were there. There around the uh, book pulses rhythmically. You need to give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. Okay. Let's take the book. We punch. Are you paying attention, Jaywa? We're gonna punch him. Ah, he was not real. You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there in the pages. Well, we're not going to fall for it this time. We need to leave. Because we have the book. We, with our knowledge that we have now... Holy shit, you go back. I know my engine's like super upgraded now. must speak to her. What is it? I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of ludicrousy. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness beyond the bay. When, when you are ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Yep. Okay, guys. I'll skip the credits at the end, but this will be the good ending. I should have skipped the other ones. I didn't know I could do both, so I'm sorry. Okay, we must wait until night is thickest, until the ocean is at, well, was, all those years ago. This time, I'll point the way. Okay. Ooh. Oh, she's pointing it with that. Nice. Okay, so if you guys see this, um, I may or may not have Jaywa clip out some of the credits so that it gets to this right away. We'll see how it goes. Let's get going. It's really sad that I won't be able to see my wife again, but... It needs to happen. Okay, this is the place. Let's throw it back in there. The book struggles in your grasp. It weighs its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by, an, by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. And it is from here that the Cthulhu creature now has its book back. Look. Aw, oh, you missed it, Jaywa. That's okay. Oh, so you just get killed. We get murked. So, yeah, I guess. How's that, how's that a better ending? Because everyone saved. Oh, so you sacrifice yourself. Makes sense. Right. Keep the evil out. But he's just going to give it to someone else. I will say, though, I really like this. The Maybe look not. of this game. Look pretty cool. It is really pretty. Okay, guys. So. Dang, that's it, y'all. That was the good ending. And now you can see this. I'll have j -Wall leave what the other one looked like. <laughs> um. 
with the city saved, right? Yeah, I guess, um... I guess I'll skip this then. Or what do you think, Jay? Well, I'll leave this in? And then you'll cut out the previous with the flames burning one? What do you want to do? I'd leave it in, so people can see your train of thought. Well, I know, I talked in the last one, when it was the bad ending. Yeah, because I don't want it. I just leave it in. Screw it. Okay. Well, I guess j wants me to leave it in, you guys. So if you're sticking with me to the end, this is a good ending. Look at the city. It's beautiful and not destroyed by the Cthulhu monster from our bad ending. Again, really excited that you guys joined me. So happy that we made it through another game. We got through Contraband Police. We got through this one. The DLC's coming out later. We'll play that more than likely. Um, we're also... Well, me. I'm going to probably play Cult of the Cult of the Lamb next, because obviously it looks really fun and kind of a cult sim simulator situation. Take care of a bunch of my cult guys, fight off evil monsters, become the ultimate cult leader. That's always fun, but obviously in a cute animal form. So who doesn't love that? Um, I feel like with this game, I think everyone will ask. Um, a lot of good things. Like I said, kind of tedious in some parts where if you're trying to find certain fish to solve certain puzzles or anything like that, you kind of have to pay attention. I probably should have utilized the encyclopedia a little more, which kind of gives you the locations of the fish, even if they're grayed out. But again, that's kind of more tedious. I didn't want to make it any more like that than possible to try to get through the story for anyone that wanted to see it. Um, the controls and everything were pretty straightforward. The other thing I was... I mean, I get why they did it. I, maybe it's because I, I guess, uh, kind of grinded the beginning of the game. We, I felt like we unlocked a lot of the upgrades and things like that fairly quick. Um, and then we had a bunch of money at the end. So, a bunch of money that I didn't really have that I could spend on, because I had bought everything, needed to finish the game. So I guess maybe the DLC, that money's going to carry over. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. I mean, from the bad ending, it still let me redo the good ending, so I'm assuming this will just have a continue option where... Instead of finishing the final task, I'll just do whatever the DLC has to do. We'll see when that happens and how that plays out. Um, but yeah, all around good game. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I wish I could have 100% all the fish, but again, that's tedious. Maybe in the other playthrough, if it's more straightforward, the mission and all that. Um, I can finish collecting the Encyclopedia of Fish. I had a lot of them caught. There wasn't many left, but, you know, we'll do that later, I guess. Same thing with the shark puzzle. I didn't want to Google it. I wanted to try to figure it out myself, so we have that last shark big fish to find to complete it. So hopefully when that time comes, it'll be solved and we'll get whatever we get. And, yeah, that's, we're getting to the end of the credits, I think, after the finance thing, that'll be it. Maybe not? Other languages? Okay, maybe not yet. Um, what else can I talk for this one? Um, the upgrades made sense. It was kind of the nice puzzle aspect where you're, you know, taking the other artifacts to get the big light. Now, that's, that actually is one thing I'm not quite sure what I would use that for. Maybe in general to keep, you know, the Eve bigger monsters away. So I don't know if I was supposed to solve that earlier. But really the big beam light didn't really do much. The light of the sky. Um, again, unless I was supposed to do something else with that or it's like the most powerful light you have. But I thought that I would use that against the Cthulhu creature at the end. That's why I was kind of like nervous. Doing the final, giving the final relic and doing all that, thinking, oh man, I have to fight this big old monster or evade it or something. But yeah, I didn't have to. 
All right, breathe it in, you guys. One last look. And that's it. Both good and bad endings, you guys. Again, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.